Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is your daily hypnosis session. So I was thinking about um, thinking about acceptance and I know that I've done sessions on acceptance before but if I'm honest I think actually the amount of sessions that I could do on acceptance is never ending because acceptance, self acceptance is something that is a big issue I think with lots of people with myself as well as I'm not exempt from you know being human so I guess I was thinking about the type of acceptance and something that I've had issues with over the years um, is accepting that the past is gone you know I've been in experiences where I used to be a DJ and you know I had a, a fair bit of fun and that's gone you know those times are gone and um, you know I don't get the female attention that I used to get I don't you know I'm not young, that young anymore so um, without going on about myself but there, you know there's, there's a real need for me to um, and has been to really get to the point where I can accept that that is gone it happened it was good you know it um, I guess helped to mold me to the person I am um, to certain degrees but it's gone and I've got the present I've got now and you know hopefully there's a future ahead as well so that's what I'm really focusing on today is accepting that the past is gone um, or accepting that the past has passed it's a bit more rhyme isn't it and you can close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so allow yourself a few minutes of uninterrupted relaxation so I'd like you just to get in touch with the idea the idea that it's okay to let go of the past it's okay to appreciate what you had back then And it may be okay to realize that it's time to move on. You know, even I saw a documentary or I saw an interview with um, Chris Eubank. He was a famous middleweight boxer. He was a world champion for years. And he talked about how he what he missed he didn't miss being a world champion boxer he said he didn't even really miss the limelight what he did miss was having the body of someone in you know in their mid 20s because now i guess he's probably in his 50s or you know late 40s and he said he missed having that kind of body of a young man strong healthy and he missed that and he said he, he can't have that again and he accepts it and he's okay with it but you know he, he'd like to have it back I suppose in the same way it'd be nice to have some of the things maybe from the past but there's a freedom in realising that it has gone and you can't have that back you can have something different you can build 
something new and create new memories. And you can learn, we can learn from the past as well. Because let's face it, it wasn't all wonderful. So, in the same way, you wouldn't want the um, difficult times back. So it can't work both ways. If you were going to have your past back, you'd need to go through all of that stuff. Including the difficult times. Whatever they were. So the freedom from not having to go back and not having to re-experience those bad and difficult times is the fact that you can also having to let go of the other stuff that was also pleasant. When your mind comes around the idea, wraps around the idea that there's freedom in letting the past go. There is freedom. There is emotional freedom. There is physical freedom. Because that stuff, those emotions and feelings can be held in the body as well as in the mind. So when you let go of those ideas that you had before, when you let go of trying to, you know, be something that you're not or wishing that you were something that you were in the past. When you let that go, it gives you freedom. It releases. It releases that energy. Because it's negative. The energy is negative. When you're wishing and wanting something that you can never have, that is negative. There's nothing to be gained from that. All that causes is pain and suffering for you. And why would you want to put yourself through that? Why would you want to? So if you compare the pain and suffering and the discomfort between the two things. One, where you just realise you're never going to have it back. Move on. And that feeling of always wishing and chasing something that you can never have. Ever. One you can let go of. One you can move away from. And I wonder what that would be like. What will you replace that with? You know, that feeling of always wanting to be something that you were. And you can't have it. It's not there to have. It's not there for you. It's not yours anymore. It's gone. You're not that person. You're who you are now. You're not who you were back then. We change. There's no option. You don't have a choice about that. We all change continuously. So, what is that like for you when you allow that idea to stimulate your mind? To realise that the freedom that you can gain just by allowing the past to be past and to stay in the past and move on with your life now experiencing how you feel now and look forward to a wonderful future. That brings us to the end of this session. Enjoy the rest of the day. Feeling wonderful.